coming through. Party. Hello, good morning, and welcome to the quarantine. It's day six. Very special seven day live stream co presented by TSL and Media Corp. We've got tons of things to get through, and clearly, John is busy impersonating Amanda. Huh? I'm Amanda. Good morning. Oh. Hi Amanda, <laughs> what happened to John? Now we, now we see you. Hello. Okay, hello. Good morning, everyone. Everybody, healthy, are healthy. you are you alive? Can I just say that I'm not late today? <laughs> but you must also know that this uh, I'm not late today preceded with a uh, text that says I don't want to wake up. <laughs> John, someone asked, did you catch the cockroach from last night? No way. I'm a little stressed out. So now, right, now that it has like one whole night to play hide and seek, it's like playing <laughs> advanced level now. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough Saturday. Dina, you've got a box of mystery ingredients, nothing else in there. Clue is, of course, the mystery box is from Amazing Thailand, so of course, Dina has to cook a Thai dish. John, your dear partner in crime, will now be the one instructing you on how to cook these ingredients in a particular Thai dish. I'm gonna try my best. Mm. I know inside her box, right? She yeah. has 200 grams of white rice noodle, mm. one tablespoon of fish sauce, shrimp. Usually, no, brown sugar is like cookies, and eh? maybe it's like a dessert. Dessert got shrimp. I mean, and it is actually a pad thai. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, oh that's oh. why I got peanuts. There you go, that's why there are peanuts. I don't really trust the ability of John to give clear instructions to Xenia to cook. Yeah, <laughs> what are you really trying to say? Producers very weird. Eh? I also have Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. Why you don't send it to me? I eh? cook myself. I think Xenia, you ready to cook? Yes. I Let's can't wait. The best pad thai ever. Let's do it one thing at a time, okay? The first one is you need a large pot. Why pad thai need pot? Pad thai was a pan. Later you cook the noodles until al dente. You know what's al dente? I know, but I don't know how to. Is Kaya prefer this one? I think the, so. The uh, red one, right? I don't know. <laughs> I also need this. And rice. Rice. Nice. Nice. This is going well, eh? 12 seconds later. Whoa, oh, no. <laughs> it's a disaster. So cut half. Correct, correct. Cut half, then lay flat and then slice. The thumb and index finger can keep the blade. The rest of the fingers on the handle. <coughs> Uh, chop off the head and tail and then get ready to cry. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> Half you keep. <laughs> Don't cry, yeah. Dina. Oh my god, now you make me hungry, yeah. It smells so good, John John. Oh, do you see? Excuse me, everybody. Are y'all looking at this beauty? <laughs> oh my god, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, felt like I couldn't trust you at first, but I always ended up with, I trust you. Broken telephone. First round, the speaker's mic will be muted as he or she reads out a sentence in 10 seconds and the guesser has to reproduce the sentence. Got it. My teeth got anything. <laughs> okay guys, it's done. Oh, uh, it's so hot. John, what do you think it is? <laughs> Can I have nasi brani with extra rice? Oh my god! <laughs> I am sorry to scream so loud, but you are freaking amazing! How the heck did you get that right? Because oh. we just now, just now we got kun cup. How many cup is a got kun cup? Really? <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough contest right now. You look like a puppet. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, by what? What, by what? What, by what? Can I have... Another mm. uncle. You missed one word in the beginning, which is uncle. All right. Enunciate, enunciate the L. Uncle. Right, I buy grocery together. I don't know. Round two. One person will make a sound effect based on the phrase. Other party will need to guess. Okay, ready? Ah! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna butt shit. Try to paint the scenario better, okay? That's lizard. Oh! <laughs> when you saw a lizard and you are scared. Smacking a mosquito that is flying. Alright, yeah, John, you're next. Now Xenia, you are making the sound effect and John, you are guessing. Oh this is so hard! Wait, I, I give you 
atmosphere sound as well. Sure. G G G G baby 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 G G G. Hmm. Calling yourself at a Korean BBQ restaurant. You know what? I will accept that the sound effect was calling your mouth after eating something from a BBQ. This one is called a TikTok fish challenge. TikTok what? Basically, this challenge involves you lying on your stomach and then you putting your hands behind your back, and now you have to try to get up without going on your side or your back. If you successfully do it, you get one point. If you do it with flair, I might give you some extra points. Do we have some practice time? Yes, you absolutely have practice time. I can't wait to try it. Oh my god! It's the short legs, guys. Now that you know the basic movement, I want you to add your flair and your creativity. This is where you challenge your... What the heck? She's doing a split right now. Here we go. Chow, you're up first. So I... What? Wow, I'm that's crazy. That is fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Presenting... Ryan from Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Up next we have Xenia. Back. Yep. Yeah. Set out lah. Oh, 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 oh. I see. I see. Incorporating that yoga. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oof. Hey, he actually must say he got a lot of strength there. Eh. Yeah, he does. Ooh. Wow. Up next is going to be your fitness challenge. Pokari Sweat has sent over another couple of fitness challenges for you guys to complete. <laughs> Pokari Sweat is developed by a leading Japanese pharmaceutical company called Otsuka. And it is a rehydration beverage specifically designed for consumption after sweating. All right? The first challenge is a warm-up for at-home workout using the Pokari sweat bottles or using water bottles. The next one is the plank challenge. You guys will have to use your creativity. I got my Pokari mat ready to Pokari sweat. Do you guys have any ideas? Or are you guys ready to roll? I think we warm up first. Okay. Are we warming up together? Toll on me, drowning in this uncertainty. All I witness for you to be a reflection. It's like, you know, when you get into a relationship and, like, you know that it's not working out, All then you just let it go, man. It's not working out, socks. I feel my heart beating, taking it slow. I feel my tears falling. Losing control
Thanks, you no, have power hey, don't dry your hair. Oh, oh my god. It's <laughs> okay, my towel's still here. I will hang on my chair. We are playing charades. There will be a guesser and an actor, as per usual. Now, the actor will receive a word from the producer okay. and will have to act the five phrases in the shortest time possible. Now, no sound effects are allowed. So, the pair that will take the shortest accumulated time for all words and phrases will win five points each. Xenia and John, you're going first. And Xenia, you are the actor, and John, you are guessing. In three, two, one, go. Sandwich, cake, cupcake, straw, tea, <laughs> bubble tea. Two words. Written exam. Teachers meeting. Friends meeting. Going school. Insurance agent. Once, yeah. Six words. Dance. Clap. Fight. Fight. Club fight. Fighting outside a club. Must say that Xenia did a pretty good job, I must say. Next round, Chow and Rhino, are you ready? Okay, four words, four words. Orange! Oh, egg, egg, egg. Egg, fish. Fish, egg. Uh, salted egg yolk. Fish skin. That is correct. Uh, taking a selfie. Zilian. Using your Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. <laughs> Five. Oh my god. Seven mm. words. Okay, taking a selfie and uploading it on Instagram. You are driving really, really close because your leg's short. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's just Sorry. insulting her. Driving test. Driving test. Oh, someone auntie. Oh, then, okay, so you're begging the summer auntie to not give you a ticket. Wow! What's the time yeah, now? Almost half Three our time. Three minutes and 58 seconds. Wow. Beautiful. In three, two, one. Three words. Three syllables. ERP, no money. Two words. The. Zombie. Milo Dinosaur. That is correct, move on. Third word. Three. Dance. Clubbing. Party. TikTok dance challenge. We are just wrapping up the day with a round of two truths and one lie. I hope you guys know all of them well enough to decipher which one of their stories is truth and which one of them is a lie? Xenia, please tell us your stories. Number one, I got molested as a kid sitting on a bus when my mom was on a call right behind me. Number two, I was stopped by someone while working at Island Creamery and he drove behind a bus that I was on and wait till I got off the bus to talk to me. Number three, I removed the mole below my right eye when I was P1 because the face reader told my mom this means I'll commit suicide at 21. Wow. Tough, huh? <laughs> I think the details of the story is very important though. I know that you have worked in an ice cream shop before, yeah, so no. but I don't know if it's the specific one. No, I think you're thinking so deep. Did you know, give, give yeah. answers? I don't think so deep one. And that's why right, I'm just gonna take a risk. I'm just gonna say the third one is a lie. Third one is a lie also. I'm gonna go that number two is the lie. Xenia, why don't you reveal your lie? You're correct! Number three is a lie! Oh, no. <laughs> Here's the twist. It is not the mole on the right eye because I don't have, oh. but this mole means I'll commit suicide. I really got molested as a kid on a bus. I was sitting beside a middle-aged man. So at that point of time, my favourite cartoon was Astro Boy. So I had an Astro Boy sling bag and I put the sling bag like on my tummy. And then he said Astro Boy. Then I say yes, Astro Boy. And then <laughs> my, my hand was on my lap. And then he slowly moved from my hand to my lap and then to my inner thigh. Oh my goodness. And then he just kept moving. But at the same time, he was talking to me about Astro Boy. So I was just, you know, as a kid, you just blabber about your favorite thing. Until my mom saw it, then she like, nah! Then I like shocked. Then I stood up. Then I cried not because, because I your knew mom I was shocked. molested. Yeah, because my mom shocked me. I thought I'd do something wrong. So at the point of time, I was too young. I, do I didn't know I was molested until my mom told me. Yeah, being stopped. This guy was watching me close down the store and then I was on a bus. So when I got off that stop, this car stopped behind the bus 
and then a guy walked out. Then he came to me and he just say like, I was your customer, do you remember just now? Then I just oh say like, God. oh no. And then he say, oh. do you think like I can get your number? Then I say, cannot. <laughs> <laughs> he just say, then let me walk you home. I ran home. I never <laughs> run so fast before. And then he continued stopping me. And there was once he stopped at the bus stop where I was waiting for the bus. He came out of the driver's seat. He came to the passenger seat. He opened, asked me to go in. Thank God I was with my manager. And the funny thing is, I called my dad. I said, Daddy, somebody want to send me home. He keep asking me to sit in front. How? I'm very scared. Then he say, I think you never called me earlier. You called me earlier, ask him wait ma, then I come down, then he can send both of us home. Then I say, like, <laughs> Ryder, you're up next. I was an overachiever in secondary school. I had four CCAs. I was basically a student counsellor. I was in IT club. I was in choir and I was very active in my sport CCA judo. Number two, I did some naughty things in secondary school and I wasn't taking it seriously and got an aggravated punishment of public caning. So the third one, in primary school, I used my my powers as a prefect. I was stationed on duty at the gates to stop latecomers from coming in and in exchange for their freedom, so I let them go to assembly, right? I take their homework so that I can copy. <laughs> okay, I'm quite confident it's number three because I think like prefect, I, I don't think you have enough power to do that. I don't think Rhino would go and take advantage of people. I don't think he'll he'll use his power for bad. This one is a hard one. But I think right, he would abuse his authority to do other things that's not just copy over. So basically the lie is that I'm an overachiever in secondary school. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Actually, the prefect at the late coming area has a lot of power for some reason. I could just like, hey, you want to go to the assembly? Then I'll just let them go, then I take their homework. What? Right, you are terrible. <laughs> As someone who is always late, right, I think it's quite a fair trade. Eh? I are you would like to trade my homework <laughs> to, to like skip detention and like go to assembly. <laughs> Do you have a crush on TSL colleague before? Yes, for me, but I will not reveal who. I'm gonna say yes <laughs> for me and I will not reveal who. Yes, oh for me, I will not reveal who. I think mine is quite obvious. I basically got crash landed on me. Yeah. Yes, for me, but I will not reveal who. <laughs> <laughs> Also. I think crush is like you can imagine you being together with a person. Look at us being teenagers. <laughs> 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 <You're not> teenagers. <laughs> That's gross. I want to vomit already. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, what's your favorite Singaporean try episode ever? Yeah, I'm gonna say thinking. dancing in heels is one of my favorites. Okay, I know mine. What's cheerleading? Yours? Oh, that was fun. Yes. Yeah, that was super fun. My very yeah, first one, which is uh. Second school math. What? That's so you, John John. John. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's so you. you. Camping. Oh. In Blauwin. Is it the one you cook your? Yeah, and then you cook oh your my God, omelette. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas? I don't know. Christmas? When I did with Ching, maybe. What we're going to do is, since today we're on day six, we're going to make something a thing today and tomorrow. And that is, we're going to officially call this the quarantine hug. Oh. We're going to do a very big digital hug, a virtual <laughs> hug. Okay, shall we? In three, two, one, hug! <laughs> oh, oh. Bye, Bye guys, good night. See you tomorrow on day seven.